Beautiful ladies and gentlemen, I am Toby Lepaus Kosana, and today I'll be addressing. <laughs> I don't think it's an issue, but I'll be addressing on my topic, which is about porn, pornography addiction, and sex, sex addiction, and other sexual factors. Um. Mind you, as a disclaimer, I've been never okay. Let me not say anything about that. But what is what is porn addiction and how do you so you say you are being addicted to pornography? You know, these things are very addictive. I'm I'm not going to outline everything now, but firstly <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at the situation, guys. Firstly, when you when you go to online, when you go, I always mention the online sites, any site, you any any program that you're going to go to. Uh, when you go, you search uh, for sexual things. They appear most freely than educational stuff educational stuff appear boring so that which is why people when they go and they type whatever they type on the site immediately a uh, sex videos pornography appears and then a pornography when pornography appears uh, you start feeling some things in your body and then when you feel something on your body obviously you're gonna want to watch some or oh, someone is calling me like oh the person who was calling me was just giving me some good news <laughs> but we're not there i was saying if you go to online sites you view okay you type then once your eyes are set on those videos you're gonna see them a lot of them i did my research guys don't say i'm also an addict okay don't judge me you go and then you you're gonna see things that are going to make you feel like oh i want to experience this and the time you want to experience that thing you're gonna watch when you watch you're gonna discover a lot of things in which you never thought you going to discover you're gonna see a lot of things in which you never thought you you will ever see things you never knew of like you're gonna see the styles i'm not gonna mention all the styles but you're gonna see different styles you've never thought they exist and already your body wants to experience this thing and normally when people watch porn they watch it secretly in that way they end up helping themselves you know they we will call it masturbation when you masturbate then you feel pleasure it, masturbation is is a self-created thing because no one has to teach you that if you want to help yourself touch yourself this way it just happens automatically as you're watching the videos then you know Guti, i want to watch the video again <laughs> you ejaculate then you want to watch the video again maybe next time then you watch it today two hours you watch it then you feel like no it's wasting my money it's wasting my data then uh, now i want to download the video you download the video you watch the video then it becomes boring after time you feel like no it's uh i need to watch it online so that i can get different videos and see different things that is big that is called exploring and that process of exploring pornography you're gonna feel like you need not to be with someone to make you feel pleasure and then you're going to try by all means to Explore it on your own in your room while the door is closed. What happens psychologically? There are many factors that contribute psychologically when you are watching porn. Then, when 
you meet someone or when you are whenever you meet girls especially boys i'm going to address this one to you if whenever you meet someone <laughs> you're going to feel like you want to experience the, the things you you see their body structure you remember that thing you saw in the video you want to do it on this someone not putting in mind that they may not or might not want to participate which is why we have rape cases i'm not saying rape is being uh, encouraged by a pornography but i'm saying that they also contribute because you, you 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 whenever you see someone you see their structure it paints someone that you've seen in those videos and you want to experience what you've seen in the videos without thinking that these people do, may or might not want to take part. Especially there are those times with a group of people. Yes, you know, maybe it's a party and then they, they are doing sex. Everyone is naked. You, you also want to experience that thing. You want to be in that in the party. But because of our traditions, things we believe in, you don't want to do it a public like not 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 really public but you do not want to do it and make people know that you are doing it i think you get me guys so now you are big you are an addict you're gonna keep watching videos you're gonna keep watching videos every day every day you're gonna keep watch, watching videos up until it's here everything you think of in this world is sex is porn then that is where you see yourself no i'm now an addict i won't take you through to the process the whole process of being an addict now i want to tell you what to do uh, to stop watching porn firstly there's a way of you uh, to block sites uh, that you no longer want to view from your phone you should block those sites that is one two you should delete the videos all the videos in your phone in your laptop you have a cd because some people have cds you're gonna have to delete all of them and then you're gonna give yourself an ultimatum that if i do it today i'm going to punish myself through this way uh, you, you may use religious ways to make you feel guilty i don't know what is going to work for you and then secondly or deadly what you can do is to always stay in public space during the day during the, the night try to socialize with people be on your phone more than be on social networks more than uh, this the porn sites that is going to help you try to communicate with people try to find something that is going to make you busy uh, try to read books try to study if you're not a student try to do something that is going to keep you busy in that way you won't have time or a, a space time or space to be watching porn then the second i not the second okay the second part of pornography is one of the effects it has once you, you are in a relationship when you're in a relationship you are with one person it's you and the person and that way you cannot uh, explore with this person with your visuals what you have in your mind so if it's you with this person you're gonna feel like now i need a, a thin thick thin yeah, let me say thin a thin lady Yes. and your partner is chubby you want the thing you want to experience what was happening in the video secondly you're gonna be like i today i want 
a black woman in another thing you want a white or a chinese lady a uh, next day you you want a virgin the next day you see that is the effect you are not considering how these people you keep involving in your imagination how these people are going to feel okay and then once you start to wake up it will be too late because you'll be having a lot of women uh, trying to be on your case i was speaking in terms of men now i'm moving to women as as women we tend to want to experience different types of dicks yes a uh, you so a thick black long whatever i don't know how you call these things a long dick and then you want to experience it you're gonna keep looking for the guy it's not easy for us to see a dick underneath those trousers so we you're gonna have to kiss touch <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying guys you're gonna kiss touch or hug touch so that you can see if you want to try it then you try it if not you you're going to be experiencing different sizes and then you want someone who is a muscle man and then you're gonna that that, that is not healthy because in most of this pornography um captures they are not using condoms they are not using condoms do you know why it's because now there are measures whereby someone can use prep when you're using prep you cannot be easily infected with hiv and other diseases not other diseases it's, it's especially for hiv and then there are measures to not be transmitted with a a stds and stis because you don't know you just watch and want to experience you're not going to use the protection and you're gonna get sick they don't get sick okay you are the one who's going to suffer the consequences and get sick then let me say that let me say badly yeah also okay a uh, 10 minutes of pornography addiction is over but i'm gonna try i'm gonna try let me take one second break i'll be now let's continue um as i was i was explaining the the effects of pornography uh, it was those were just highlights guys there are more severe effects there are more very harmful effects except for a damage of psychology and expectations imagination let's talk about sex addiction this one has ruined many relationships sex addicts <laughs> should date together there's the reason why i'm saying this is because because people who are in relationships and they are sex addicts they tend to want sex every time they, they want sex 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 every time guys hmm? now and then i i gave you chow chow guys i it's like i gave you chow chow in the morning what do you want now at 12 during the day how guys the person gets upset i don't want to be stereotypic about it it happens to both women and men and what is most hurtful is that women are taught that it is shameful when it's them who are being addicted to sex while men are being praised for being addicted to sex while it is not a good thing for both genders 
if they are not dating their types. If you are a sex addict, your type is a sex addict. No matter the looks, no matter what. Because you can go for looks and you find that the kid does not want to do sex and then you're going to be angry and then you're going to constantly fight. Because the thing with addicts, addicts always want to make other people addicts. Yes. Always want to think that we are all addicts. Um. I won't give out a lot of stories on that. I'll speak about it maybe next week. That how dating in ethics may suck. Um, stories of women I've had complaining, men I've had complaining. Yes, men also do complain that. But I just came. What do you want more? The woman has not came and the man is exhausted already so you should date your type because sex addiction also goes with how long you last in bed because if you last two minutes and your sex addicted partner wants to last five minutes do you see that you're going to struggle because even when you're speaking to someone a minute is very very yeah you know a minute is, is a hey bo, I'm, guys i'm having a painful joint a minute is a very very long time so how much how are you going to manage to adjust to from two minutes to three minutes which is why people uh, experience it and then they are uh, they want to explore ways to enhance their sex skills their sexual drive they're trying to drink herbs and a lot of things other guys are trying to enlarge their penises and in order to satisfy their women but guys you don't have to work for that there are people who are not addicted that you can date do not frustrate yourself do not um i don't know how to say but in in, in all do not frustrate yourself do not try to please everyone okay because at the end of the day it is your own money that is going to buy in the herbs it is own it is your own money that is going to cost you uh, when you have to write every day to serve this person you're dating it is going to be your own mind that is going to be ruined when you're having stress on on your debates because i'm sure they're going to complain because sex addicts know what they want know how how they want sex know how where you should touch them it's going to be a conflict because you want to get into the story into the date but you cannot because they they still want to do e for play that is long enough for them to be with uh, they, they there are lots of factors contributing guys <laughs> i won't state the obvious ones so what i would say is that uh, i don't think there is a medicine to stop someone from being a sex addict so if you're a sex addict <laughs> i think you should just date your type i don't think there's a there's something that can make you stop being sexually addicted but the problem begins where you when or where you want to explore it with different people and not using protection because they say with protection there is much much higher climax and sexual pleasure than doing it uh, using protection which is condom and luckily uh, in South Africa, we are being provided with condoms by the government. Condoms are free. You find condoms on any any place. At, at schools, they are provided. Is at schools they are provided because there are children who become addicts at a very very young age you find a child who is or a a, a, a teenage who is maybe 15 
uh, downwards who is already addicted with sex we cannot mm -hmm. run away from facts guys we cannot run away from facts so try to condomize condoms will will help you run away from a lot of problems except from being sick it's make it's going to make you run from a lot of stress because sometimes you may not have money for contraceptives the government does provide contra contraceptives but they are not always available like i i, I remember where when there was a time whereby there were no contraceptive in the shops or in, not in the shops actually because the shops were selling them at a very high price but in government institution there were no contraceptives and there were no morning after pills you, you one you might fall pregnant from your sex addiction and if you're addicted to you're mixing you you're sleeping with different people who are you going to say is the father of the baby and maybe for men let me say it's better for men because they know who they impregnate but they impregnate but what happens if you impregnate 10 women at the same time how are you going to feed all those 10 mouths and just imagine if they are twins throughout the process then you have to uh, let me say where you have to feed baby mama with three kids baby mama with two kids baby mama with one 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 then you're having maybe around 15 babies that is why we have so much high poverty it's because fathers do not want to take responsibility not all of them and shout out to those fathers who take responsibility for their actions but sex addiction ruins someone's mind you find you find someone you you don't find them sexual <sighs> sexually satisfying uh, because of your expectation because of your thoughts uh, let's wrap the video here all i'm just going to say that um try to work on your addiction as soon as you can and try to understand that not everyone uh, is addicted in in that way you're going to understand that when someone is saying no when someone is saying no they really mean it there is this thing guys always say that women love attention when you approach them they say no just because they want you to chase after them sometimes it's not the case women of nowadays a uh, they meet you halfway when you take them for dinner they try to meet you halfway they come to the dinner not because they want food but they are sometimes showing a gesture that they can participate but if you take them to dinner it does not mean that if you want to sleep with them they should just say yes if i want to participate in a dinner it doesn't mean that i would love to participate in that with you so let's take that out of our minds because it's going to make us go no way i mean no way so now guys i hope you're enjoying the video um i hope as i go further with sexual education sex education guys it's not actually education i'm just highlighting the things that we should be alert about thank you so much i love you guys thank you for subscribing <laughs> i don't even know how to sing guys but one day maybe i'll work up with the voice sing for you guys if that will make you happy <laughs> bye